Hi guys. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to try to do a vlog slash like craft. So if you want to do some a little craft with me today, chit chat, you can comment below to the questions I asked. I thought that would be fun. We're going to sit outside. We're going to make the bee garland for for my um, coffee bar. So if that interests you, stick around. If you're brand new here and this is the first time you're clicking on one of my videos, I'm Jamie with Jamie Loving All Seasons. And on this channel we do hauls, shop with me's, home tours, little of this, a little of that. And I do love all seasons, but going from fall to the rest of the year, that's my favorite time. If that's something that you think you might like, hit that subscribe button. And you want to hit all because you don't want to miss any content. You never know what I'm going to be posting. And for my longtime subscribers, I'm so glad you guys continue to come back, check out, see what I'm doing, what's going on, and letting me know what's going on in your life. So, let's get into this. So I'm getting some coffee going this morning. So we'll have a cup of coffee together. I got laundry going in here. Um, we got a little of everything going on. Last night was my son's last chorus concert. I am so proud of him. And he received a, um, it's called John McMackey, I believe, McGeehee um, Scholarship, which is, was the, he was the principal. He was also, I think, an alumni. And he received that last night, which was so exciting. So that's kind of what's been going on here. Um, we're going to go outside. It's a little chillier than I thought, but the sun is out. It's just, it's beautiful out here. So um, this is what I grabbed to make the garland. Not those. Those are going to probably go in my little flowers. But... I got some paint um, to get the bees, to paint the bees, the wooden bees. We got these, the rags. So it's going to be like a rag garland. And I thought it would be really cute with the bees. Possibly the honeycomb and maybe the gingham check. I thought it would look really cute together. So I have those. And it's a hot mess. Do you see that? Yep. This I bought from Hobby Lobby to put on a wreath. So I'm hoping to make that as well. Not today, but maybe we'll do that together. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to add to a wreath. And I got this ribbon as well. So that'll all tie into that. That's that honeycomb ribbon that I used on the coffee bar. But these are the ones we're gonna use. I'm gonna untangle them. We're gonna just paint them and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so this is my thought process. This is the Dollar Tree um, garland. Super cute already, right? Well, we're just gonna make it cuter. Okay, we're going to try. We're going to try. Your girl, so I like doing crafts. I like doing DIYs. But I'm a simple kind of DIYer. And I love watching other people getting inspiration. And then I kind of I kind of use what they have. And then I go with it, right? So my thought process is that we would do... Do I have the yellow? Yes, I have the yellow as well. And I have two different yellows. Not much in this one. 
So we might go with the lighter yellow. This was Martha Stewart. I'll be honest, I think I bought this on clearance, you guys. Oh, no. I already got paint on me. I told you, your girl's messy when she's decorating, crafting. She's a mess. But we would try to do the bee. Maybe paint him all yellow. Or maybe he'll, we'll paint him all black. Like just have a solid color is my thought. Yeah, I got paint all over me. This was not smart. I should have wore something that I didn't care. So what I did, I had some black. I put just a touch of water because I want it more like a watercolor. And I'm just painting... over the whole bee. I'm going to see if I like it this way. Okay. So it's almost going to be just like a stain. Okay. Is what we're doing. I'm going to see if I like it this way. I bought extras just for this. Because if I don't like it, I can change it. And that's not how you should paint. So I'm no professional DIYer. I'm no, you know, I I just do little things here and there. I actually put things together better than I do DIYing, but it's fun and it's relaxing. And that's why I wanted to do this with you guys today. I thought I'd sit here and chat and ask you guys how did your Mother's Day go? What did you guys do? Please comment below. Let me know what all the mamas did out there. I have a mat down um, so that I don't, you know, mess up this table. I will say I'm getting a new table. We're in the process of trying to refinish the deck. I just power washed it. And I also... Um, I power washed the floors and the railing, so the next part is painting. We're not putting too much time or energy really into it. So what do you think? I don't know about it being all black now that I'm looking at this. So I have my little thing from Dollar Tree to kind of clean out your brush. This thing is wonderful. So maybe we'll try this one. We'll do we'll do like a outline of the body here. See what I'm doing? We'll kind of do the body in yellow. And it don't have to be perfect. It's a DIY. You know? The beauty is uh, in the eye of the beholder, right? Isn't that the saying? Did I say that right? So what I was thinking, we'll do the body. And then I'll go over. The wings. In black. We'll see how this one is. I thought maybe I would just stain it in brown kind of give it like more of a um, country, not a country, but you know, more of a rustic feel. I don't know if this is necessarily working either. I'm not the best painter. My creativity, you guys, I realize comes out when I decorate. So like I said, DIYing, like I love, I used to make wreaths. I really did get into that. I really enjoyed that. And I think, um, I watched several YouTubes and I'm going to throw this name out there. Her name was Gail. Um, she, I watched her videos over and over. She did this one wreath and I just loved the way she did it. 
and I did one just like hers and then went from there and continued making wreaths and was selling a lot. Okay. I don't know if I like this. like it needs another line up here. I'll make the yellow a little darker. I think part of my problem when I'm crafting, I want to see the end result faster. Then I do, you know, and, and, and it's a process. It really is a process when you're making um, anything. When you're DIYing or doing anything like that. It is a true process. And I want to see that end result. Which is, you know, not how it works. So... As for my Mother's Day, uh, I worked, but I got up early. I had to be at work fairly early. Um, my husband was already up making me coffee, and he had a cinnamon roll for me. Yes, we're still doing uh, low carbs, uh, but we realize we're allowing and adding little treats here and there and so that day he said I feel like you need you deserve a treat so he had a treat for me and it was wonderful my dad popped over at like six in the morning <laughs> to bring me a flower and a little gift and I just you know, I loved it because then he sat down and had coffee with David and I. And it was nice, you know. I cherish those moments more. I cherish the fact that he was over here and had coffee with us in the morning. More than even the flower or whatever, you know, that he brought me. That time. Because you can't get back that time. As you all know, my mom uh, is no longer with me. My my mom, my biological mom, uh, she passed away. Gosh, it's been twelve years, I believe now, and it feels like it was yesterday. I used to be where I couldn't even talk about her without completely breaking down. But every Mother's Day and her birthday and the holidays and then even just some days, like normal days, are hard without her. So all the, you know, moms out there that no longer have their moms or dads that are watching this video, I understand. I get you. It's hard. Especially when you have a really close bond with your mom, and I did. Um, she was a very strong lady. She taught me a lot, and I'm not. I couldn't be the person I am today without her and my children. You know, um, having my. My boys really taught me a lot, especially my oldest. I was a single mom. And uh, what do you guys think of that? Are you liking that? I like it. I kind of like it. I know it's not exactly how a bee looks, but hey. Right? When you're DIYing, you're doing your own version. I kind of like that. So the all black. And maybe I could even... To rotate right, gonna have an all black, 
And then I could do the black and yellow. And then we're going to tie the little tags and the honey, you know, these, I think these are going to look adorable on there. I grabbed that one as well because I thought, um, I thought it would look good. So yeah, we're, I'm going to plug along here and it dries fairly quick on this because it's like a little press, press board. Let's see if we can maybe put a little yellow on the antennas here. We're just going to do our own thing here. Yep, because it's dry. We're just going to add bits of yellow. can see what I'm doing on this one. I just added What do you guys think of that? With it kind of outlined. And we'll go, I'll go back over. Should I do it all the way around? What do you think? I know you, some of you say, you know, you do you. People are going to be like, those are not how bees look. Yeah, I know that. I get it. So we're going to paint this one all black again. I'm like really debating which one I like better. Should I do an all yellow? What do you guys think? Okay, so what I did, I ended up painting them all the black and yellow. And we're going to take the ribbon, that craft fabric, comes in these strips just like this, and do six. That's what we'll do. We'll do six inches. Around six inches is what we're going to cut. Can you see I'm folding it? That way I'll just keep folding it and then we'll just snip it. We'll snip the ends. See how I'm folding it back and forth? And it will give us about that six inch. Just like that. Okay. And see how here there's loops? You're just going to put your scissors in there, cut right across. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side. And they're not going to be exact, which is okay because a rag, the rag uh, garlands aren't meant to be perfect. So we're going to take and we're just going to do a little knot. Okay. And now that I've cut this, I almost feel like, did we make
make it too short. Now you definitely want your bees spaced out, right? So we're gonna do, I'm thinking we're gonna alternate. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing about six inches. for the honeycomb ones. These are great. You can actually get these at Dollar Tree. back and forth the same thing we did that way they're about even okay and I'm making a nice cut right through them all right so what you're going to do, you're going to take your strips and you're going to tie. So we're going to do honeycomb first. And we're just going to tie it just like this, just a knot. Because you want you obviously want your honeycomb to be seen. The honeycomb, uh, so you're going to see it just like this. You're going to have your bead, then your bee. Then we're going to do another honeycomb. I'm debating on do we want the black. The black might give it, you know, a little extra oomph. Uh, it needs so we're taking our tying it just like if you were tying your shoe you're gonna tie just a little knot and pull that's it as simple as that okay that one I did better because the knot we're gonna have to fix that knot the knot you don't see the honeycomb so let's try this again the side of the pattern down okay and then that way you're still able to see it when you pull the knot through it's gonna look so cute you guys because when I did this for my Christmas uh, tree and I did it on lights oh my gosh it's still one of my favorite garlands even though half of the lights don't I'll still put it on the tree because the garland looks cute with the burlap and and now we're going to tie our bee same thing now I really think we may do the the uh, this isn't gingham is this like the checkered, yeah. You know my think is smaller patterns. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this piece. Another six inches. Right about here. We're gonna fold. Doesn't have to be precise. If you are a precise person, then make sure you do a precise. If you're like me and you're like close enough, then do close enough. Because I know some people they'd be like, oh my gosh, she's not even, it's not, it's not even, it's not <laughs> doing the same thing. We're just going to cut. And I think what we'll do is 
we'll do the black next. Once again, put your print face down, okay? And then you're just gonna tie your knot. That way, on the side that you're hanging out, you're seeing the print, okay? Oh yeah, this is gonna be really cute, you guys. Once it's all done, I can see it coming together. It's coming. I love that Dollar Tree has like stepped up their game so much on all these little things for crafters. So we have our honeycomb first. And what I'm getting is about four pieces per strip. So with your garland now i ended up taking one bee off so i have one two three four five five bees which i think will be enough for my coffee bar but you guys make it to your liking okay now you can do this with any of those garlands those wooden garlands paint them and then get these little rag strips or even if you have your own material where you've bought cut strips That'll be so cute. Now we're going to do our B. And we're just going to keep repeating the process in between the B's and your, um, your little bead here. You could always add more beads if you want. Like I have beads I could have added. Like I could have added like a black bead in between which would be really cute. Um as well I have some more yellow beads we could have added as well but I was trying to make this DIY as easy as possible you know not all of us are ab you know like these amazing crafters but we want to do it we want to do a little something well here is a easy simple craft for you to do a little bit of painting you don't even have to paint the bees if you don't want them painted, don't paint the bees, right? Oh. And then we're going to do this again. Make sure you have enough room as well in between your bees to get your, um, to get your little ribbons on. You could also do ribbon. You don't have to do scraps of fabric. You could do ribbon that you like. Um, you know, let's see. Dollar Tree has all these ribbons. You could do this. How cute would that be? <laughs> How cute would that be? <laughs> no, I know. Not, not funny. Not funny, Jamie. <laughs> we're going to go ahead with our B. So this is what we're doing here, guys. We're just... And I'm going to show you what it looks like hung up on the coffee bar. Now, if you're just tuning in, oh my gosh, that's going to be so cute hanging up there. Now, I will say, I may end up doing the other side of the bee the same way, which I would suggest you to do that before you add. Know what you're doing, <laughs> first of all. Um... Do that before you actually put on the, the ribbon or like the fabric strips, okay? And that one strip with the five filled it in. Now, once we hang it up, we'll see if we need to add more on at the ends. This goes down here. Uh, 
Okay, I just came in from the outside. What we're gonna do is put our cute, cute little garland up here. Won't that look adorable? I may have to move my bees. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll take everything off here and I'll show you. And if you guys did not see this coffee bar, you have to go check out the spring home tour. Um, my pops of yellow throughout the home. Um, it turned out really cute. I ended up finding some more of my actual yellow mugs. So I've been adding those to. Now, this is how it's gonna be. We're gonna tie it. Okay, so I have them hung up. Like I said, I'm gonna go back and paint the back of these, but I want it, I didn't want this film, this to be too long. Please bear with me on how um, I'm doing a DIY. Now, this is my thought. Hanging this, the mugs, I don't know how well this is gonna do with the, the garland. Comment below if you guys have a better idea for me with the garland. And we're gonna try to do it underneath. Maybe I could tape it to the bar. So what I did was tied it across, but that's why it'll be important to do both sides of your bees. Your cups, my mugs at least, they hang down kind of low. So, my thought is maybe to kind of tape this up closer. What do you guys think? Comment below, what, what would you do different for this? I really would like to use this for the coffee bar. I just thought it was really cute. Now, maybe the hanging bees are, um, they're too low. The other thing is just to do a rag uh, garland across. If you have something similar to this for your coffee bar, um, I know I had a couple of ladies ask me about this. Uh, where I had got this from. It's just, you can actually buy these bars from Home Goods, uh, not Home Goods, Home Depot, Lowe's, things like this, these S hooks, you can order them. Um, like if the taping it up might make it a little better. And then you could see the bees a little bit better. And obviously you'd have to adjust Some people might be like, that, that, that's a whole lot, Jamie. That's, that's really, and some of you, I think are gonna love it. You know? And I will take you off the tripod and give you a little closer look. We're gonna move this down a little. You know, you don't even see the tape, so. Maybe you do every other one, you know. With the little bees. So like, I'll put the garland there. that guy hanging there I'll take okay so this is what we have I'm thinking there needs to be a couple little pieces of garland at the end of that one what do you guys think is it too much I know some people are gonna say yes automatically because this is just too much for them <laughs> you see I where I had my coffee earlier I had my curry close I mean open 
And then do I do every other one? Every one? Comment below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think and how, if you like this. Simple little DIY. Comment below, would you like me to do more? Um, or stay away from the DIYs. Um, okay, guys. So that is it for today. Um, I'm going to mess around. And I think I may do another one for the top one. One here. Um, like, so basically it's every other bar with it. I like it. It is a little much, but I think they're cute. The painting isn't perfect, but you know what? That's okay. I will tell you, if you're one of those people out there that is afraid to do DIYs because you don't want to mess up or you don't want people to go, oh, okay. You know what? Don't let those people bother you. Don't enjoy, have fun, do what you enjoy. I will say it was very relaxing sitting out there and I hope it was for you guys as well to sit there and do this craft with me, um, kind of a vlog style. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below as for this video. Um, I, I mean, I'm pretty serious. Like, if, if you're like, no, Jamie, let's stick to your decorating the halls and the shop with the knees, I'm okay with that. Um, but I would like to share a little bit more of my creative side with you, uh, doing little projects, little easy things like this. This is, this is fun to me. And I, I just would love to hear what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and say my goodbyes. Make sure you guys give me the big thumbs up. It really helps this channel. And there's something I needed to mention. I hit 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. You know, I told you it wasn't about numbers for me necessarily on this channel. It was about connecting with people uh, that have similar uh, hobbies and likes a lot of the things that I like to find others out there. That was a big part of me starting YouTube was to find family and friends like you guys out there, you know, and that we can connect and have someone to share these things that we love and we're passionate about with. So I just want to thank you guys so much. I plan on doing a little something, um, some type of giveaway or something uh, for hitting that number. Uh, like I said, it's for me, it's not necessarily about that. So, but I do appreciate, I do appreciate you guys very much so for tuning into this crazy girl through her ups, her downs, and you know, I, I just love you guys. So, have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another, love one another, and I'll see you next time.